Welcome to today's show. I'm your host, Mike Slankard. You know, it's the start of a new season and a new decade here on Hunting with Hacks, and we're going to be pushing the limits and showing it to you like never before during 2020 and beyond. You know, this time of year, most folks are predator hunting, so we're going to start out right there. You know, we're fortunate enough to be teamed up with some very successful Western predator callers, and this week we're going to tag along with Jim Walker from Eastern Oregon. You've seen some of Jim's footage on the show before, and usually it's over the top to say the least. Jim uses hex technology as one of his basic tools to increase his success in the field, and this week we'll share some of Jim's amazing encounters on hard hunted public land predators. Jim regularly calls and takes over a hundred coyotes each year, and he'll be the first to tell you that a huge part of his success is directly related to hex technology. As always, we're going to show it all just like it happened right here on Hunting with Hacks. Hunting is about getting close. Really close. Get closer than you ever thought was possible. When you have a cameraman and you sitting out in a dirt field like this, you can get away with so much with this hex on. I've got to give credit once again to Hex. We showcase the science of getting close right here on Hunting with Hex. Hunting with Hex is brought to you by PSE Archery, Tough Country, American Values Forged in Steel, Ozonics, Undetectable, Undeniable, Victory Archery, the Carbon Arrow Experts, BumpersDirect.com Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls We Call the Game Spot Hog, the world's toughest archery products Worn Wenches UC Hunting Properties and Hex Delt Screen The Evolution of Concealment well, like I said earlier, my buddy Jim Walker is one of the most successful callers of public land coyotes that I know of. He's mostly self-filming his hunts and he regularly submits video of his amazing close-up encounters. He regularly has coyotes charge right into his wide open setups, making for some awesome and exciting action. But coyotes aren't the only predators prowling the sage, and Jim has had his share of run-ins with bobcats as well. This is a great piece that he sent in last year. And I don't think anyone can argue that a bobcat at three feet is not your basic normal occurrence. Yet Jim says it happens to him all the time. Jim has been hunting coyotes for over 40 years and he tells everyone that he's had more close encounters while wearing hex technology than in all the other years combined. Needless to say, Jim doesn't go into the field without a hex suit and anyone who hunts with him is also required by Jim to have hex technology as well. On this first hunt, Jim set up overlooking a big open valley. You know, Jim uses a mouth call and he videos all his own hunts, not with just one camera, but usually three cameras all running at the same time. Needless to say, he has to do a lot of moving around to make this all work out. And that's why hex technology is so important. It's now known that canines can see these fields just like birds can. So when a movement has an electrical field associated with it, the coyote knows instantly that he needs to pay attention. Jim's hex suit blocks those fields, and to the coyote, his movements are more like natural, inanimate movement. After Jim's second calling set, he spots a big coyote heading straight for him. On this next setup, Jim barely has his first calling sequence done when he spots a coyote coming in from his left. You can plainly see this coyote wasn't even looking at Jim when he shot. You know, Jim says that he's changed his calling setups a lot since he started wearing hex technology. 
like all of us, Jim used to really brush in and try to hide and avoid the sharp eyes of those coyotes as they came looking for a meal. After using Hex for several years, however, Jim gained the confidence to sit out in basically the open with only just a slight bit of back cover to break up his outline. He knows that the Hex technology is going to help cover his presence and allow a much closer encounter than ever before possible. I'm a huge believer in Hex, and the reason is simply my success in the field. Time and time again, I have things that I just can't explain, and no matter which hunting camp I'm in, I feel like I'm having more opportunities than the people around me that aren't utilizing Hex. The reality is, some animals definitely can sense things that we just don't know about. And with the encounters that I've had, I can tell you that Hex has been my clear advantage. This past year, I got within top pin range on a giant open country bull and just sat there for longer than I was even comfortable for. And when he finally pulled away from that tree and started to come to where he had heard my call last, he literally almost walked right over me. Had no idea what I was, even when that arrow hit. And I'm giving that credit to Hex. During the late season here in Iowa, there's nothing worse than being covered up with whitetails in a ground blind and having them look right in at you. I don't experience that anymore. I'm telling you, the proof is in the pudding for me. If you're interested in getting the best deal possible, make sure you use the promo code at the bottom of the screen. Or if you want to find out more, go to hexllc.com or give us a call at 541-575. Hex. The close-up predator action continues right after this. Welcome back to Hunting with Hex. This week we are trailing along with accomplished predator hunter Jim Walker from Oregon. Jim has years of experience outsmarting coyotes and so far he's showing us how it's done. Now let's get back to the hunt. Now we're on a new setup. This area is a little bit thicker, and Jim knows that any coyotes that come in all the way are gonna likely be super close. You know, Jim regularly carries a rifle and a shotgun, but today he's carrying a pistol as well. Here, Jim's hoping he might even get one close enough to take a shot with his pistol and change things up a bit. Jim does do one other thing a little bit differently than most predator hunters, in that he regularly has a coyote recovery dog or sometimes two with him. Sometimes when a coyote gets close, the dogs jump the gun just a bit, which can make things a little more difficult on the shot. But these dogs are super effective at making sure that if Jim hits the coyote, he puts that pelt in the truck. Jim feels that the advantage outweighs the inconvenience of the dogs. Just as Jim was hoping, he soon noticed the coyote super close and off to his right. He whistles to stop it, and when he has a clear shot, he lifts his pistol and touches one off. Well, Hex did its job, and Jim was able to stop this coyote inside a pistol range, but he didn't connect on the shot, unfortunately. You know, shooting iron sights on a pistol gives a serious advantage to the coyote, but Jim loves the added challenge. You know, part of the fun of Hex technology is the close encounters, and it's one of the reasons that Jim doesn't go into the field without it. This next setup shows just what we're talking about. You know, Jim's set up in a wide open area in short grass, and as soon as he finishes his calling sequence, he sees a coyote charging directly out in front of him. Well, the coyote stops at about 60 yards and looks over the situation. Jim's dogs see the coyote and start whining, and as you can see, the coyote keys in on him. But instead of running, it pins its ears back and charges straight in. It was more than Jim's dogs can handle, and they run out to meet it. When the coyote cleared the dogs far enough for a safe shot, Jim sent some double op buck down range and ended the encounter. <laughs> well, it's scenarios like this that keeps Jim Walker pounding the desert every winter in search of predators. It's time once again for this week's Hex Close Up. This week's Hex Close Up is brought to you by Randy Beckman. Randy was hunting with a new turkey hunter and they dropped a Jake on the edge of the field. A second bird in the group began flogging it and Randy decided to move in wearing his hex just to see what would happen. I've been turkey hunting for about 30 years. I've had a hex suit for four. And every year it amazes me what you can get away with a hex suit and a turkey with. We were about 20 feet in the woods. I got up, 
walked straight toward the bird. At about 30 or 35 feet, I called, he gobbled, and he kept on doing what he was doing. He never even noticed me. I got within about 20 feet of that bird, and he had no idea I was there. The reason I got down in the video, I looked down the field road, and there was a gobbler coming down the field road in full strut. If you have never tried a hex suit, a lot of people don't believe in them. I'm telling you, it works. Buy one, and you'll be amazed. Thanks again to Randy Backman for submitting this week's Hex Close Out. The original Hex suit is very lightweight, breathable, and versatile enough to be used in almost any hunting situation. It comes complete with pants, shirt, and head cover, and is available in Mossy Oak Country and New Mossy Oak Elements Terra pattern. The material features a highly electrically conductive carbon grid woven into the polyester base cloth. This grid blocks your body's electrical field. Most people wear hex as an underlayer, but as long as the hex material is between you and the animal, it's just as effective. The pants are cut similar to sweatpants, with an elastic waistband, adjustable drawstring, elastic cuffs on the bottom, side pockets, and a convenient fly. The pullover shirt features thumb holes, surge stitching, and an embroidered logo. The head cover has a hemmed eye hole, adjustable drawstring in the back, and is very easy to use. Additional accessories are sold separately and include the hex hat, made entirely of hex material and is very lightweight and comfortable. The gloves are made of a lightweight, stretchy material in Mossy Oak Camo with the hex technology woven in. The socks are a heavyweight over-the-calf sock and have the conductive hex grid woven into the material. Brand new for this year is the new Multi-Rag. This versatile face mask can be worn in a variety of ways. Order right now and use the promo code PURSUE to save an instant $30 on your order of a complete hex suit. Learn more about our complete line of clothing and accessories as well as our fit guarantee for worry-free ordering at HexLLC.com. We'll be back with more exciting Predator action right after this. If you're a bow hunter, you know there's nothing more exciting than getting the full draw with big game animals in range. Hi everybody, I'm Tom Miranda and I want to talk to you a little bit about HEX. H-E-C-S, an acronym that stands for Human Energy Concealment System. Now I yes. know what you're thinking, here comes the sales pitch. But believe me, this isn't a pitch because this stuff works. There's a million options out there from scent sprays to carbon suits, ozone machines to cover scents, and everything in between. And they all say they're going to improve your bow hunting success. But I'm here to tell you that HEX is different. HEX really does improve your success. HEX is an interlocking grid of highly conductive carbon yarn that is woven into a comfortable base layer or camouflage outer layer suit. This conductive grid blocks the electrical field that your body emits. Now, likely you didn't know that your body emits an electrical field. Before I discovered HEX, I didn't know. But think about it. When a human heart stops, a doctor or EMT uses electric shock to restart it. Nerves and muscles send electrical signals to your spine and brain. It's a fact that the body emits an electronic Look field at the tusks. and a fact that animals Look at can detect it. We've all experienced an animal's sixth sense that innate ability to feel the presence of others or somehow know there's intimate danger. Big game animals have keen noses, keen hearing, and vision, and they also can easily detect these electrical fields. Now I know this may sound like hocus pocus to some who have not yet tried HEX, but technology is constantly coming up with new and innovative products. Take my iPhone for example. I have no idea how it works. And I don't know exactly how HEX advanced technology Jesus works head. either, but it works because I've witnessed it. Well, look at that. If you've followed my bow hunting career, you know that I've completed the North American Super Slam on video. It's the dream of a lifetime. Safari Club to get the International's Grand World Hunting Award ring. And I can tell you without reservation that when you wear HEX, it does something. If the animal doesn't catch your wind, 
it pretty much ignores you. But you don't have to believe me. Take the Hex <laughs> Stealth Screen Challenge and see for yourself. Hex, Human Energy Concealment System. Yes, this stuff really works. The newest addition is our base layer. The base layer is a lightweight, semi-thermal material designed to be worn under your regular hunting clothing when you need just a little bit of extra insulation. It features the patented Hex technology woven right into the material. The suit comes in three pieces, pants, shirt, and head cover. The shirt is a quarter zip Henley with surge stitching, embroidered Hex logo, and thumb holes. The form-fitting pants have surge stitching throughout, and an elastic waistband and cuff ensure they stay in place. They also feature a convenient fly. The head cover has a hemmed eye hole, adjustable drawstring in the back, and is very easy to use. Additional accessories are sold separately and include the hex hat, gloves, and our new heavyweight over-the-calf sock. Brand new for this year is the new multi-rag. This versatile face mask can be worn in a variety of ways. Order the Hex base layer right now and use the promo code PURSUIT to save an instant $30 on your order of a complete Hex suit. Learn more about our complete line of clothing and accessories as well as our fit guarantee for worry-free ordering at hexhunting.com. We still have plenty of action left and it's all coming up right after this quick break. Welcome back to Hunting with Hex. This week is all about predator hunting and Jim Walker from Oregon has been using Hex technology to keep laying them down. Now let's catch up with host Mike Schlinkert to see where we're headed next. On this hunt, I'm a long filming, as Jim calls. As we all know, a coyote can come from any direction, and sometimes we're face to face with them before we even know they're there. That's exactly what happened here. I noticed a big coyote standing only 20 yards away looking at us. Coyote right there. As I swung the camera, the coyote starts to move, and Jim readies for a pistol shot. <laughs> ah. You know, I'm not sure how long that coyote had been standing there watching Jim call but it had to have been for a while. Not until we both started swinging cameras and raising guns did he even react to us at all. Unfortunately, Jim missed the shot, but it was still a super cool encounter. Well, on this next set, Jim has another coyote come in from behind him, only this time it's from the left. Jim doesn't have a shot, and after the coyote comes in close enough to realize that he's been duped, he bolted out in front of Jim and heads out. Fortunately, Jim was able to get him stopped, and this time, Jim was dead on. You know, anyone who's hunted coyotes for any length of time knows that normally when a coyote makes your setup, they're out of there at top speed. Yet you see it happen over and over with Jim, where he's able to stop them even after they've seen him or even smelled him, as we'll see in this next clip. Jim's in the same location as the last coyote, and he spots a coyote coming in from his right. It's crossing directly downwind of him, and he knows most likely it's going to run as soon as it smells him, and it does. But still, Jim is able to get it to stop long enough for a shot. Well, we just got back to the pickup after the recovery on that coyote you just seen me kill. You've seen that coyote run through the wind, run through my wind. And uh, wearing Hex, the Hex Stealth suit, um, gives you that advantage that that coyote doesn't sense that you're there. By yours today, and, and you'll see these events happening for you too. If you've been watching Hunting with Hex for very long, you probably realize that Hex patented technology that we feature here on the show has become something of a must-have item for tens of thousands of hunters around the world. What you may not have realized is that Hex technology is also becoming an integral tool for wildlife biologists, researchers, photographers, and really anyone who wants to experience wildlife in its natural and undisturbed state. 
If you watch this year's Shark Week episodes on Discovery Channel, you saw Hex stealth screen logos on some of the world's foremost shark experts. Hex technology is also front and center in the hit show Extinct or Alive on Animal Planet, starring biologist Forrest Galante. Forrest and his team search for and sometimes find animals that were thought to be extinct, and they use Hex to help them in their quest. Hex is even being used by the U.S. military and police special units to help them stay less detectable by animals that can signal danger when they're in covert situations. Quite literally, Hex is popping up everywhere people interact with animals. The bottom line is all living beings, including humans, produce naturally occurring extreme low frequency electrical fields through heart rate and muscle movement. Hex products effectively block those fields, making the person appear more like an inanimate object. Hex is real technology, it's backed up by five issued patents, and it's fully proven to work. So no matter what you like to do outdoors, there's a Hex product for you. For more information on the other areas Hex technology is changing the way people look at concealment, check out HexLLC.com and click on the links to the other Hex entities. Hunting with Hex is brought to you by PSE Archery, Tough Country, American Values Forged in Steel, Ozonics, Undetectable, Undeniable, Victory Archery, The Carbon Arrow Experts, BumpersDirect.com, Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls, We Call the Game, Spot Hog, The World's Toughest Archery Products, Warren Wenches, UC Hunting Properties, and Hex Delt Screen, the evolution of concealment. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode and maybe learned a little bit more about how to utilize the Hex Advantage on your next predator hunt. You know, experienced hunters like Jim Walker have proven over and over that Hex truly does make a significant difference in how close they can get and what they can get away with when wary predators get in close. Over the past decade, science has begun to really understand just how much influence natural electrical fields have on animal behavior. In the past few years, several new scientific studies have shed more light on this rapidly growing understanding of nature's wonders. You know, it's satisfying validation for us here at Hex, but it's not surprising to us at all. You know, you too can experience an amazing benefits of Hex technology by giving us a call or going online right now and getting your own hex suit on the way. In the meantime, we'll keep pushing the limits and bringing it to you each week right here on Hunting with Hacks. If you have an amazing hex encounter you'd like to share, give us a call or contact us online. If we use it on the air, you'll be in the running to win an exciting hunting trip with a hex crew. You can find out more on our website at hexhunting.com. While you're online, make sure to take a minute and check us out on our social media sites as well.